What's up? My name is Robert Moses, aka 202, and today I'm going to give you a hip-hop slash singer-songwriter producer uh, review. Not so much a review, but just how I use the Black Box by 1010 Music and what I think of it. So right off the bat, what I think is uh, this thing is a hit. It is a ten, a nine out of ten. Um, there's a, there's one thing from a producer standpoint point that it's missing, and that is uh, the ability to export stems out in, in, a, in an effective way, uh, like producers use. Um, so what I mean by that is being able to export it out into a linear fashion, so you can import it those files into a traditional uh, DAW. Uh, like Pro Tools or something where you're going to be uh, working with vocalists and, and um, musicians of other types besides uh, um, the electronic-based stuff. With that said, everything else, baby, this this thing's a, a, a beauty, a absolute beauty. Um, we're going to get into it right now. So there's three things I want to talk about and why I love this, this machine. Uh, four things, actually. The portability uh, goes without saying. Um... And then uh, we're gonna talk about it's just kind of it's pad it's pad page, it's sequences and it's song uh, page and how these three elements make for uh, a hit um, when it comes to file management and sampling and multi sampling. All right. So what is the black box? The black box is a, uh, a sampler. It is a multi sampler. Um, hardware self-contained unit for uh, playing and, and arranging and controlling um, your uh, your audio your audio sources um, it was designed for electronic music for controlling uh, modular synths it's got a great it got great ins and outs um, in the back uh, for recording um, and Getting the electronic music instruments off grid and into a hardware device, it, it's designed for that and it does that well. However, for people who don't do those kind of things, like me, who takes a basic beat, a uh, hip hop beat, something that has a lot of vibe to it, puts it in front of a, a, a rapper or, um, or, per, or another producer to remix, um, and then from there record over that and then layer on top in a traditional linear fashion in a, in a DAW. Uh, uh, um, people like me need to make music, need to just keep on storing uh, sounds and samples and loops and and have ideas uh, down in somewhere that is a hardware solution. The, the problem with computers is they die. Um, my But my MPC-1000 been around for 25 years and I can fix it whenever something goes down um, very easily um, computers when they die they die they suck right they get buggy they have all these issues but hardware solutions and standalone devices are always there for you so file management and and having the ability to use your loops your samples your sounds uh, is just invaluable this guy does that it gives um, file management to sounds at another level to add to that it's small it's portable it's built like a brick it's built stronger than a brick to be honest with you um look at it. it's like am I, am I in i don't know if you can see it's like small as my hand it's just so perfect i made the beat we're gonna listen to today um on the couch next to the freaking uh goldfish tank man it's like i could take this thing anywhere it, it plugs in with a, a usb power so you can get a portable uh power brick from the apple store and you could take this thing anywhere it's as portable as it gets it's ridiculous um you can make a beat on the freaking airplane with it it's just so awesome anyways there's that um and those properties if you will that build to it is just invaluable for the price. Um, now, what about it? As far as functionally, it makes it great. Um, so first off, is just the the pad section, sixteen pads on a grid. You'd load up your sounds, and you can um, load up just about anything. And the great thing about this compared to other standalone units is you can do kind of some high def stuff. You can have any file 
uh, you can think of on here. So these are uh, some 4896K uh, samples. Some are, are not, um, and some are 16-bit. Uh, uh, you won't be able to hear that because this is a video. It's going to be compressed, and then I have it running through an old-school uh, mixer. Um, but uh, you know, trust me, that some of the snare, for example, is super crunchy and perfect for the future steps. And when I throw this in front of a rapper, and we need a layer with all the effects and change it and take it out and make it sound bigger than life, this has that that headroom and that crunch to it. That's just gonna. Uh, mix perfectly in any environment I take it in. For now, as a piece of writing for music, it's just perfect. And um, anyway, 16 sounds. You're also going to load up multi samples. This thing is like building your own uh, keyboard, right? So here is a bass sound. Let's turn this up just a bit. Um, here is a bass sound I made. Uh, I took every key um, from one range um, so the C, D, E, F, G, and the flats. And the F, um, and then I load all those sounds together after mixing them and put them in one pack on one pad. And now this thing has the ability to play it as a multi sample and play this thing as needed in scales or on keys. It's just amazing. Um, and that opens up huge, huge uh, uh, options for playing uh, um, those sounds and arranging them uh, there. Next up is the sequences. If you've ever been in the DAW world like Fruity Loops, um, this would be the equivalent of a pattern. And you can make, uh, but they're called sequences on this particular uh, kind of, a, what do you call it? This world of black box. They're called sequences. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different sequences. The heart of the beat is these four sequences layered over each other, um, and they sound like this. And the hearts just started with just this cute little melody I made. <laughs> ah. mm. Nothing, nothing fancy, right? You know, you layer it um, on the fourth bar with some little horns like this here coming in on the fourth bar uh, one and two and a little throw in that little uh, horn there just give it a little flavor right and you got a vibe you got a vibe and then you throw in um, you know and then you throw in just that for cheesiness I take that out in the final mix just for fun just to give some uh, that obviously missing some mid-range probably throw a bass player in here at some point in the future uh, but there's enough there to mix and to really go at it um, and again I made that all on my couch just something fun something like a store and, and, and a, a hardware uh, piece of equipment and, and manage my files and, and have done this a tons of time tons of times this thing can just hold as much as you can throw at it um, here's one I made the same day um, you know just the vibey hip hop beat, nothing spectacular, but when I remix it in, in a real life setting uh, with vocals or whatever, it's gonna I can take it to an, the next level. Um, so as pre-production beats, this is just uh, just amazing, man. It's just amazing. Um, all right, then is the song mode. The song mode is um, since it doesn't have a linear um, arranger, a recording like you would Pro Tools or a Studio One or whatever. You have to put your uh, different, you have to queue up your, your different sequences and then record them in song mode into a section, right? So here's three sections. Um, and so I'm going to clear this section, clear this section, clear this section. And um, then you queue up the, uh, the pattern you want. Then you hit song mode. Then you hit record it's gonna count in for a bar and then boom it's gonna play um, and that was a little two bar loop it's gonna record that now that is section one um, so in theory when you put play the song excuse me I gotta keep the song mode on you play section one is what we recorded and sure enough it is 
So you got a little intro there. Then section two, we're gonna take the main beat and make sure it's all selected. Go to the song mode, make sure that's on. I'm gonna record that. One, two, and boom. Oh yeah, I forgot to get a count on it too. Uh, anyways, it's gonna play that. And this should be a four bar loop. Oh no, it's eight bars. So it's gonna play for eight bars. Um, I should have changed that to four for the sake of this video, but it's cool. We'll, we'll all live. Um, so it's gonna play this for eight bars. Hey, hey, hey. And then we'll stop that at eight bars. Seven and three. And now on the eighth bar, two and three and four. Boom, I'll stop that. All right. And then uh, we'll take section three and we'll choose some different sequences. We'll choose these uh, two guys. And uh, just so I don't screw this up, I'm gonna take this down to four. Um, and then I'm gonna go like this and make sure it's all selected. And we're gonna go boom, boom. Record this little section here. This will be like a little a third section. I'm recording this right now um, into this section. It's just a little four bar loop, super simple. And then it recorded the four bars. Go to uh, unselect that song. And there we go. We just made a song in a non-linear fashion. If you've ever done um, a DAW that doesn't work linearly, like um, um, whatever the Machina uh, software is. I can't think of it right now off the top of my head. Native Instruments uh, DAW. Or if you've ever used your Ableton Live kind of thing, they have the same kind of concept. But this is uh, done in a portable hardware option, a standalone thing. Um, so if you, your brain loves working in that way, you're going to love this kind of setup. I personally like it. I think it's very intuitive, but nothing beats a linear uh, wave stacked on top of each other. But that's what a computer's for. And this is just a pre-production beat anyways, something that'll get major mixed once uh, we sit down with some artists and uh, figure out what we want to do with this beat. For now, it's just uh, getting the base of a beat down um, so that we have something to work with it we can take and make bigger than life if need be so here we go section one two three if we play it in theory this should just play the way we recorded it live right in front of you here on the camera and then um oh that's right check that out check that out so i made a mistake look at it's at eight bars um so this is why you got to make sure you have your settings right before you hit record um Let's tear that down to two bars, and if it'll let me play at two bars, let's see. So let's see if it'll play at two bars, editing like this. Anyways, there you go. And it should go to section two, boom. And then section two was eight bars, if you remember, I left it at eight bars. Um, so it'll play at eight bars. Uh. Let's turn this up a bit. Uh, and then there, here comes the clo the closure. Just a bass and a beat. Uh, aesthetic, aesthetic. Ah, love it. Anyways, that's that. Boom. You get it. All right. Anyways, this is the Black Box by 1010 Music Black Box. Um, we're in um, version 1.6.5. If you can upgrade it so that we can do stems, you'll really make us producers happy who use this thing. Otherwise, uh, like I said, 9 out of 10 must get if you love making beats on the fly and, and having a storage um, solution for your multi-samples and your uh, beats. This is where to go. Um, all right, 202 is out, robertdryer.com, peace. <clears throat>